let us look at this example together. Let us look at this example together. So the first thing we remember is division is the opposite of multiplication, and we know that we can uh, interpret every multiplication fact as a division fact. So when we look at this question, what is 54 divided by 9? We can think to ourselves, as a restatement of this question, what times 9 will give me 54? Okay? What times 9 will give me 54? Right? We go through our multiplication tables for 9. 9 times 1 is 9. 9 times 2, 18. 9 times 3, 27. 9 times 4, um, 36. 9 times 5, 45. 9 times 6, 54. <gasps> 54. 6. Why? Because 9 times 6 equals 54. Okay? Of course, we can, we can also state this fact using the other notation that I was indicating by placing this inside the house like this, placing this on the outside of the house, and placing the 6 here above the 4 of the 54. Not above the 5, but above the 4. Why? Because the 9 times 6 equals the whole 54. Okay? Okay. And again, with this multiplication fact y uh, demonstrates that this division fact is true, but it also indicates to us that the following division fact, 54 divided by 6 equals 9. Okay? Now, let me make a brief aside here. I just want to supplement what's happening here. Um, you might ask, David, I don't have my multiplication tables for 9 memorized yet. What do I do? Of course, I recommend you multi you memorize your multiplication tables. Now, I don't want you to mem memorize them all at once. It's best to practice one multiplication for one number one day, another multiplication table for another number another day, and little by little over the course of a month, you can memorize them all. If you're stressed out and you have doubts, you just make your multiplication table like this, n and 9 times n. So this is a placeholder. So I place my 1 here, and I ask 9 times 1, because that's what n is. Well, 9 times 1 is just 9. Now 2. I add 9 to 9. 9, and then I add 9. I'm going to get 18. If you want to, you can use your hands here. So for example, um, let me put this down here. Okay. So let's say I was here, and I wanted to add 9 here. I would put my hands, and I would say, from 9... 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. There it is. You see, I'm holding up nine digits. That's why I stopped. Because if I start counting from nine, so 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, you can see I've added nine. Right? Then to get nine times three, I would add nine again. Okay? So 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. See, I didn't bring the last digit up because I'm not in 10. And I got to 27. And then you could continue this process. Um, and usually the goal is to memorize the multiples of a number, of the small number, uh, up to 12. So for example, you should know from nine, from nine times one equals nine, all the way to nine times twelve is equal to um, one hundred eight. Okay. But of course, you know, but it, like I showed you here, if you're stressed out in the moment, if you blank out whatever, just make your multiplication table on the paper, and then use it. We would have continued here. Four would have given us thirty-six. Five would have given us forty-five. Six would have given us fifty-four. And once we got there, we would have seen the relationship we needed, which is this row, this row, which tells us that 9 times 6 is 54, which was this multiplication fact, which was able to allow us to solve this original problem. Okay? So, um, I hope you've enjoyed this example, and let's proceed to another one.